well here we are last day of the year december 31st 2022 and it is the first day of my late season elk archery tag three point or better here in oregon tioga unit and uh we have three weeks to make this happen we started off by walking into this area that we have had pretty good success with seeing critters but uh this morning it was quiet so we moved on and uh, got some entertainment by a few bucks that we've seen all pretty much in one unit. It was pretty exciting catching them on film, starting out with these two little spikes. Oh, they must both be. Shortly after, we caught up with Dustin and Jessica, and they had seen some cows in the road. However, nothing we could really make a play on. So we took a hike down this other little area and, again, didn't see anything. But as we moved on, we caught some elk in the road again. But, uh, again, nothing really to make a play on or anything of legal status. We split up after that to go do some glassing, see if we can get our eyes on anything, and Brian had spotted some cows bedded down. We knew there was a few bulls in there during archery season, so we're going to make a play and see if we can get closer and hope maybe those bulls are hanging around in close. There's three or four of them there. Not sure how many of them. Kind of hard to see, but yeah, at least five. <laughs> you'd have to you'd have to park way way short and walk. I figured around the corner, just park it just before the corner there, and then walk around and look down in there. Is there a spot where we could go, maybe up top and look down? I don't know. Not where they're at. I don't think. I think we should be able to drive in there to that where we normally park and walk around. Okay. Yeah. We'll stay back. We'll, yeah. we'll follow you in there, but we'll stay back and watch what you guys do. All right. Came on. Came on. Hopefully there's a bull. I hope so. Yeah, in both season there was a few bulls in there. Yep. So, um, Maybe they'll be hanging out with her. We're going to cut down through <clears throat> this different patch and uh, see if we can get on top of these elk. Dustin's watching from down below and uh, we're hoping maybe we can get on top of the herd. So far we've only seen three cows so hopefully there's a bull in there.
That's exciting. Yeah, we did. I don't know if Dustin and them are going to try to run them back. I don't know where they probably went down in the clear cut, though. That was weird. They got up and ran this way. That would be a buck. Well, how close? They end up coming out. Now. Oh, they, yeah, they, they went around the corner. Yeah. And about... Three or four minutes later, <laughs> they, they went in right where they were bedded. Okay. And they, but they went angled that way. Okay. And I counted nine. Yeah, I we figured about eight or nine. You know. No yep. horns. Nope. Well, yeah, they came walking down the road at us. We were sitting there on the edge of the road. It's like, shit, there's some coming through. And they like, started to trot down the road at us and then started to go in the brush and then turned and Stood there and then went running back down the road. So our one of the corner stood up and she had us. I think she caught a little bit of a smell. Oh, okay. And she stood there. I mean, she just <laughs> staring, looking, couldn't tell, you know, what yeah. was going on. And then all of a sudden you see her pick her nose up and do that. And you see her just look and she just. <laughs> <laughs> and then they all just kept going. Okay. And all of a sudden it was just. Yeah. And here's the embarrassing part. When we got down to go get on those elk, I realized I left the camera on the last landing. Not wanting to lose the opportunity to get on those elk, we decided we would finish the hunt and go back and hope it was still right where I thought I left it. Follow, and you might find cameras. What did you find? What did you find? What did you find? You know, really. She left it recording over here. You know, so oh, it yeah, was, yeah, yeah. That's she. That was her Time whole lapse. game plan. Time lapse. I'll tell you the truth. Yes, the camera was left on the landing, but it's all my husband's fault. He spotted some elk, which was a great spot job, but then he got the rangefinder or the spotting scope out and had to try out the new phone scope. And so he's like, hey, babe, look at this. Look how cool this is. Put the camera down. Oh, oh told you to put the camera down. It's all my fault. Job. I, was, I'm, I was really trying to be nice and not say anything. Uh -huh. The truth is. Yeah, truth you is. You full of shit. The cruise is on. <laughs> yes. Hillbilly NASCAR. Good spot, Danny. Good spot. Yep. yep. Thank you. Yeah, it's uh, 3.32. We're sitting on glassing. Yep. Long distance glassing and uh, scanned one of the hillsides and I happened to spot a tan image that, you know, when you see an elk, you know you see an elk. Oh, it just yeah. hit me like, that's an elk. And it was really tan and big and so as I was trying to explain where it was and make sure that I was actually seeing an elk and not just like, you know, hallucinating, um, there was, looked like there was one below it too, but this one compared to the size was much bigger. So really hopeful that we have a bull on our hands. And, really uh, light color too. Yeah. So we're going to cruise on over there and, uh, it's clear. It's, we're going to, it's going to be a trip. So, um, yeah, like I said, we were doing some long distance blasting. <laughs> yeah, that was three miles over there, probably. Twice. Yeah, the spotting scope when I got it on him right as we left, but you were not seeing. Just still, again, just had the image. So. Okay, game on. It's been a fun, exciting, uh, yeah. eventful opening yeah, day. For yeah, we've seen quite a few out. Animals oh, in general. Heard. Yeah, yeah, I knocked an arrow earlier. Didn't see yeah, antlers, no, but it was a. Never heard. Yeah. Yeah, That's some not bad. I mean, especially for rifle hunting with a bow, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. December 31st. It's.
better if you want to look to see if you go right over this and look and see. Up. I mean it is, it's not a... Mm. Like a pop? No. Oh, yeah. Your elk hunt, dude. Look at the top of that clear cut. That one? The flat by the trees. Just pull your binos up in that clear cut. Hmm. Let's see if we can go straight across. Seven spikes. And no I don't legal bulls. <laughs> no legal bulls. 
I'm not even sure what the count was yesterday. We saw some spikes yesterday and lots of cows, but uh, we need three points or more on one side. So uh, no legal bulls. Uh, but yet we got within range in a few different herds and yep. that got the adrenaline going and it was a good weekend. So I can't say that it was a total loss, even though I didn't get a tag anything. It was a pretty successful weekend. Yes, it was for sure. Good time with great friends and oh, so first weekend of late season elk archery. Yep. So we're gonna head back out next weekend and try again and see hopefully we can uh, find something legal to get on. So uh, if you haven't subscribed already hit that subscribe button that little bell and get those notifications when we get our next hunts up. Uh, maybe even some from the past. Hopefully those will be coming soon. And uh, yeah, wishing everybody a happy new year, 2023. And uh, I hope this is your best year yet. Thanks for watching.